What's up everyone, Dublade here with a quick information video regarding the Day 2 Limited Bounties for the Autumn Harvest Festival in Monster Hunter World. Now the Autumn Harvest Festival is currently only on console, so this doesn't really apply to PC players out there. At the moment there is no news to when the PC will receive the Autumn Harvest Festival, but as soon as there is some, I'm bound to bring out a video on it. But anyway, what have we got today in terms of Limited Bounties? Well we have four of them, first is a Field Research Event Limited Bounty to complete two event quests. These can be done at high or low rank, so it shouldn't be too tricky. And for doing so, you'll get research points, some armor spheres, an autumn harvest ticket, and some harvest fireworks. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Zitsuyaku. We have to hunt two of these specific monsters. And it can be done at high or low rank, so again, it's not too tricky. And for taking two of them down, you'll get research points, an armor sphere plus, an autumn harvest ticket, and some more harvest fireworks. Next is another ecology survey to slay Teostra. We have to slay one of these high rank monsters. And for taking one down, you'll get research points, a hard atmosphere, another autumn harvest ticket, and some more harvest fireworks. And then finally is general limited bounty to complete all of today's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you'll get research points, a heavy atmosphere, an autumn harvest ticket, and even more harvest fireworks. So there we have it. Today's most difficult one is probably the Slay Teostra, although you don't have to take on a tempered one or arch tempered one, so you could get away just taking on a normal Teostra if you wish, especially if you struggle against the monster. If you're looking to get these bounties done quickly though, personally I would recommend taking on a Flash in the Pan to complete the Zitsuyaku limited bounty as well as make a notch in the event quest limited bounty, and then consider taking on either Code Red or the Scorn of the Sun to finish off the Event Quest Limited Bounty and complete the Teostra Limited Bounty at the same time. But anyway, that's about it for the Day 2 Limited Bounties. I do want to apologise that I haven't got the video up that is dedicated to all the event quests that we have during the Autumn Harvest Festival. I'm still working on it, there's a lot of footage to capture, but hopefully it should be up sooner than later. But anyway, until next time, I've been Dowblade, bringing a quick information video regarding the Day 2 Limited Bounties for the Autumn Harvest Festival in Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the little video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.